Hey what's up, this is Mobile Network Comparison. Today we've got a video showing you how to fix one of the biggest flaws with the A850 and that's the lack of storage space. We're going to show you how to flash a new ROM that allows you to move apps to your SD card. The A850 is a fantastic phone, great value and you're just getting an amazing amount of performance for the price. The big issue is that it's only got 2 gigabytes of internal storage and once you've got Android installed on a few apps you're only left with about 1.5 gigs. If we go and actually check the settings on the phone, the problem is if we go to the apps menu and you click on like a big app taking up 60-70 megabytes of space, there's no option there allowing you to move it to the SD card. Luckily we found a solution to this and it involves simply flashing a new ROM across which has got this feature. Other options like using third party software or even trying to repartition the internal memory are much more complicated and frankly more risky. So to get started you want to power off your phone completely, make sure you uncheck fast boot, hit OK, wait for the phone to turn off and then we need to take the battery out and get prepared to flash the new ROM across which is going to give us this functionality and allow us to move apps away so we've got a new amount of space to install big games, big apps and make the phone more usable. So now that your phone is set up and ready we can go over to the computer and prepare everything there. In order to flash the new ROM you need three things. You need to have the USB drivers installed in your computer so it can see your phone. You need to have the flash tool application and of course you need the ROM file itself. So if you click on the description below, we've got a link that will take you to our site where we have all these things prepared for you. So we've got a zip file with the flash tool and the USB drivers inside it. We've got a zip file with the ROM inside it. And we've also got USB DView should you need it if you're having trouble installing the USB drivers. So once you've got all that sorted, you're ready to start the flashing process. Go to your computer, navigate to the flash tool folder, and then just go ahead and we're going to run the flash tool executable. So double click it, hit run and it will open up. And once it's loaded up on your screen, the first step is to load the scatter file. So just click here and then double click on the scatter text file that was included in your ROM dump, which you have unzipped somewhere on your computer. And then we need to check this box that says DADL all with checksum. That's very important and just check some options before we start it. So check USB mode is on and check that the speed is set to high speed. So before we go ahead, never ever press this format button, be really careful. You always want to click the firmware upgrade button or click F8. Once you hit that, you'll see searching appears at the bottom and it's ready for you to go ahead and plug in your phone to the USB cable. So I've plugged the phone in and I'm just gonna quickly fast forward through all of the, the ROM being loaded onto the phone. The ROM we're installing today is based upon the official S123 version of the Lenovo ROM, which was released on the 14th of August last year, so it's quite a recent ROM. It comes pre-rooted and it also comes with the Google Play Store and all the other Google services automatically installed for you. And the reason we're choosing this ROM in particular is because it has the additional benefit of solving all the issues with the SD card and not being able to move apps. And it gives you the feature of being able to set a default location for your applications and move any applications you want across the SD card, meaning that you save space and free up the precious internal memory for more vital things. Since Lenovo have yet to offer an official fix, this is your best option for getting around this restriction. It shouldn't take too long at all. You'll probably be looking at a total time in the region of about five, six or seven minutes once everything's done. As long as you're seeing coloured progress bars along the bottom, everything's running fine. And you just need to make sure you've got a decent USB cable that's reliable and that will last without any problems. So now we've got to the end of the flashing process here. This big green circle means everything's done correctly. You can close it, close the flash tool, and then unplug your phone. So now you just need to go over to your phone and boot it up again. So put the battery back inside and power it on as usual just by holding down the power button you'll be greeted by a new logo instead of the old Lenovo logo and the phone will slowly but surely boot up into the new ROM. Here we are, we're in the new ROM, it's a completely fresh install so you have to go through a few settings at the beginning. I'm just going to skip through all of this right now 
and show you what we have. No need to enter any of this information right yet. Set up complete and you're greeted with a brand new Lenovo ROM. So let's take a look at how this ROM is different. If we just go to the settings and all settings, we can have a look at the storage options we now have. And you can see this is great. This is going to be really useful. We now have a default write disk, which means when we install new apps, we can specify that they go to the SD card rather than taking up space on our internal storage. Also, if we go to the app settings, you can see that there's the option to move to USB storage now. So this takes a little while, but you'll see previously this app took up a total of about 39 megabytes, this game. When we move it to the SD card, it means that we have a lot more space free because even though there's more on the USB storage app, the app itself only takes up just over four megabytes. So you can see that's a huge saving and it really makes a massive difference and makes this phone much more usable because not only can you have more apps on there, you're not restricted by the amount of space you've got, you can also install bigger apps which take up more space. So hopefully this was useful. Um, we know lots of people have had this problem and we're glad to be able to show a solution to it. Please leave your comments below and look out for more Lenovo A850 videos coming from us soon. Bye.